Hi guys, how's it going? Hi everyone. Here she is. We are, we are in the midst of the narrow boat journey and it's about to come to an end, isn't it, Bex? After a seven day voyage. It has been absolutely mental. I mean, it has been the most panicked I've ever been in my life, but also the most relaxed and tranquilic. Is that the right word? Tranquil. Tranquil. <laughs> but we want to take you right back to the start now. We're going to go on day zero, the day when the key exchange took place. The seller was showing us how to use the narrow boat and basically, the day before we're getting let loose into the wild. Okay, so the map, we will be starting round about here. We'll be following the Neen all the way around to the middle levels, all the way around to the ooze, where we'll finish in St. Neen. But for today's key handover and training session, we will be meeting the seller here at Water Newton and following through for about three hours to Peterborough. So, shall we run it back? Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Oh my God, I woke up so excited. I remember messaging you and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And you were like, so am I, but I'm also really bricking it about Denver Sluice. God, I was a nervous wreck. I'd spoke to Alec, the seller, the day before and he'd told me that there were certain areas and tidal sluices that we were tackling on this trip that he wouldn't dare go near and we were going near. So for anyone not in the know, Denver Sluice is on the Anglian waterways and it's a tidal area. Basically, waves from the sea come tumbling down on our beautiful new boat and make it do roly-polies or something like that. Such a drama queen. Anyway, Denver Sluice is still three days away. I really shouldn't need to panic yet. So this was my moment to brick myself because I was just handed over the tiller and started to head my way towards this bridge when another boat started coming out. So I had a momentary panic, but then realised actually it's all quite fine. And that's why you see me taking over there. You didn't at all, it was Alec. Did you not see the edit? So here we go into Peterborough. So this is where we'll be spending our first night alone on our new tiny home. Cheers. So there you have it guys. What a first day. However, it was nothing compared to what was to follow for the next week or what we anticipated might come. So we've got the boat, but we need to get her slightly closer to home so we can prepare her for our big travels. So from having a bit of a look online and planning our route, we reckon that this is going to take us about seven-ish days. Like and subscribe for a new video coming up, tracking our very first week on our beautiful new floating home. See you later guys. Bye.